Hey guys, it's Crystal, and this is my living room makeover. This is it, my friends. This is the living room transformation in my family home. And I would say this is more so the family room more than a living room because this is where we spend most of our time, where the TV lives, where we all gather around. And that's why it was so important for me to complete this makeover because we've had this home for a little over 15 years now. So it was time to give this room a new look. Now the look I was going for in here is modern and sleek yet cozy. I wanted to feel the warmth of this room as I walk into it and you do quite literally as a fire burns behind me. But especially on a day like today where it's a cold, rainy winter day, it was really important for me to create an inviting and relaxing environment through all the seasons. That fire behind me is burning so beautifully right now. And the fact that this room has that, a naturally built-in fireplace, really made that cozy, comforting look easy to achieve. But I wanted to highlight it even more because prior to the makeover, it was kind of hidden behind the TV. There was nothing really bringing it out. But now with the green accent wall that we added, it really brings out the brick and ties it all together so nicely. There's a lot that went into the making of the fireplace wall and we'll get into that but first I want to talk about what I would say is the main attraction here because without it this room would certainly not be complete and that is this beauty behind me the LG 75 series nanocell 86 inch 4k TV and this is not sponsored but you guys know I've been a fan of LG TVs for such a long time now so when I needed a TV that would really fill the wall and still look good this was a no-brainer let's talk about this entertainment setup though because we mentioned the TV but there is more to it that makes it so special and feel complete like the sound system here with Sonos I have the Sonos Arc soundbar in white paired along with the white wireless sub they also come in black but I thought the white would give it a nice contrast with all the black accents in this room like the media console also, I have to say I have been using this setup for Fitness Plus because with the big screen and the sounds added into the mix, it just makes it such a motivating environment. To right, to left, uh, yes. Moving along with the rest of the entertainment setup, the lovely media console that the soundbar is placed on top of is from West Elm, specifically West Elm Outlet. If you guys happen to have a West Elm Outlet near you, I highly recommend that you check it out because you can get new or pretty much new furniture with very minor defects for an amazing price. The cables that are coming out of it actually are fed into the wall and behind the TV. So we did go with in-wall cable management just for a much cleaner look. And even though it was kind of a hassle to, um, to put up, not gonna lie, I'm glad that we did it that way because it looks so much cleaner. <laughs> The TV is truly what sparked this entire transformation because I saw it on sale during the week of Black Friday and I just couldn't let that deal go. So we got it and it got delivered within a few days. Before the TV could even get mounted though, that is when the painting process came about, which was really the true first step of the makeover. And we went with mostly a warm white throughout the whole room and a touch of forest green on the accent wall, which like I said before, really brings out that brick red fireplace. And I just thought it was a nice color combination for there. This is a swivel chair that I am so obsessed with from that West Elm outlet as well. It's one of those things that we went into the store and bought unplanned. I did want an accent chair of some sort for this room. I just didn't think I was gonna find one there, but I actually did. And this color scheme is exactly what I was intentionally looking for. So when I saw it, it was just, it was meant to be. It matches the pillows on the couch perfectly. And it's one of those chairs that once you sit in it, it feels as comfy as it looks. It's like you're sitting in a marshmallow or a cloud. I've actually edited some videos on here. 
That's how comfy it is. This is the main seating area in this room. This wonderful L-shaped vegan leather couch from a company called Albany Park, which we ordered online from. It is made of this lovely warm toned faux leather, which is exactly the color scheme that I was going for in this room. I absolutely love that it is L-shaped because it makes it all the more inviting so you can have a big group of people here and sit comfortably in the couch all gathered around the TV. It also has gold legs, which is another thing that was a plus for me because gold was something that I wanted around the room. I wanted a lot of little gold accents, so that was a perfect little touch. When you order a couch online, you never know how comfy it's gonna be. But this one is very comfortable, comfy enough that you can sleep on it. We dressed the couch with some cream colored pillows and a cream throw blanket with some black accents in it. Again, the color scheme really visibly ties all together in this room. The lamp right above me is another West Elm special. I've been wanting one of these overarching lamps for such a long time now, and it's so hard to find one that's not flimsy. This one is definitely sturdy. It has some good weight to it. I also love that the stem and the base of it is in gold because again, ties the whole room together, and it's a beautiful statement piece no matter where you put it. Now, since this is a seating area, we did need a coffee table in here, and we found this gem at a local home goods for only 80 bucks. This was probably the best deal in this entire room. The rug that's underneath all the furniture is also from Home Goods. It has mostly grays in it with little pops of gold. And I actually wanted something that was a little more fluffy and cozy feeling, but we went with this one because with our dogs, this is much easier to clean up and vacuum. Charlie, what do you think of the room? Do you like it? Are you a good boy? Where's my good boy? Where's my good boy? Okay, so this is a piece that's going to go on top of the fireplace. It's a mantle. We opted for a DIY wooden piece here at home. He is cleaning it down. Okay. All right. It's going to be black because I want it to match the media console and some other black accents in the room. The legs of the coffee table is black too, so I think this will tie it together really well. What do you think? Uh, more action and less talking. <laughs> as soon as we settled on this DIY project here, the black mantle that we made, I was really excited because of course it meant that we get to decorate the top and it was thick enough to add things on top. So that was really important to me. That's when I added the candles, the books and the plants. They're all real, fully natural plants. This one right here is one that my mom had planted with an orchid and a beautiful vine falling down. And then the one over here, this one was purchased actually recently and it's a mix of tropical plants. There's a light green and a dark green going on. And over here, it's kind of like we're in the jungle in the corner. I absolutely love this. I think this is a type of monstera plant. I have a fake one in my bedroom, but this real one is just exactly what I needed here. I almost forgot to mention another little DIY moment here with the fireplace wall, specifically with the fireplace accessories. We actually spray painted most of them gold because originally the screen was in black. And even though that would have looked nice, we wanted to just add a little more of a gold touch to go with the mirror on top and separate it from the black mantelpiece. So we spray painted this gold. We made it a little taller because originally it was too small. And same with the fireplace tools over here. They were originally with wooden tops and we spray painted the top of those gold as well, just to go with all the little gold touches throughout the room. Gosh, my favorite part has to be, uh, I don't know. I love it all so much. It's so much more inviting in here. The TV is just, chef's kiss and i just love sitting in here it's so much more calming and relaxing and pleasing to the eye you know well let's see what's my least favorite part no <laughs> okay my, my my favorite part of the whole makeover is between the fireplace the couch is cute too the whole atmosphere feels inviting 
overall, I like everything. <laughs> Why are we doing this like the Kardashian confessional style? <laughs> Let's get it together. I think it's great. My favorite part is that I didn't have to pay for the whole thing. But I do like how it came out. Everything came out nice. It, it is a clean look and, and bright. So that is the complete transformation. This is definitely my favorite room of the house now. There's still a couple things that I would add down the line though, like maybe some more Sono speakers to complete more of a surround sound setup. Some automated Wi-Fi enabled shades for the windows would be nice because there is currently no window treatments and we kind of need something to cover it up. And also a robot vacuum would be cool or some type of automatic vacuuming system. We have two dogs here, they shed a lot. There's a carpet in here, so that would be nice as well. So that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments below what kind of makeover you wanna see me do next. Hasta luego. Talk so quiet on the camera. This, this is how I talk. No, you don't. No, this is how I talk. You're seeing me talking in my Zoom meetings.